Hello folks, Kimberly here from the Academy of European Medieval Martial Arts and I'm going to go through my static stretching routine that I love to do after my Fit Like Fiore classes. So the first thing that we're going to do is you can do this uh, sitting cross-legged or as I like to often sit in this position. I'm going to take my arm and I'm going to pull it across my chest and then bring the other arm up like so. I'm going to hold this for minimum 30 seconds then I'm going to transition so that this arm is just sort of dropped behind my back like so and then I can bring the other arm up just to gently sort of enforce that hand lower if possible just like this and I will hold that for 30 seconds as well then I will switch and do the same thing on the other side again minimum 30 seconds for each hold sometimes i like to go as far as a full minute as well completely and totally up to you after that what i like to do is stretch out my neck what i will often do drop my right ear towards my right shoulder but without trying to push this up like so i'll often do half circle rotations nice and slowly from one side to the other with a pause and one side to the other with a pause. Then what I will do is I will bring my hand up, taking my fingers and the upper part of my palm here, placing it alongside this part of my temple beside my eye. And instead of pushing down, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch that up and out like so, dropping my shoulders and really stretching that neck out. And again, we'll hold this for minimum 30 seconds. Release. Slowly switch sides. And do the same thing again. But on the opposite side, hold them for minimum 30 seconds. Then what I like to do is this routine. I will lie down on my back, <clears throat> feet up in the air like so. I'm going to take my right leg, cross it in front of my left, reach my hands up, under and through, so that they're kind of grasping the back of my thigh along my hamstrings, but not too tight. Then I'm going to bend that leg, and I'm going to push and open my right hip here, while leaving this leg bent like so and as I do so I want to push my lower lumbar spine and the top of my glutes into the ground what I want to avoid is curling my butt up like this and getting into this sort of hollowed rounded position I want to be pushing that into the ground and doing this like so a more um, challenging version of the stretch would be if you would like to try to grab your other foot like this. Then what I like to do is transition into this stretch here. I can do this with my foot out in front of me like so. And what I'm trying to do is push this hip into the ground as best as I can while having this foot flat and a nice straight back. If I want to challenge myself, I will bend this leg as well and then really try to work on sinking that hip down into the ground while maintaining a straight back like so. Then whatever leg I was using as the upward leg will be placed down on the ground in front of me. I'll take my other leg and swing that around behind me and try to get in to this sort of position here. You might be up like this. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this whatsoever. We're all going to be at different levels. But the goal is to try to push those hips down into the ground like so. Other things that you can do with this stretch if you want to challenge yourself, try to get those hands off the ground or try to make yourself look like a nice capo ferro plate, like so. 
Other things I will do is also bring both hands forward and deepen and lengthen that stretch just like this as well. Then when I'm done, I'll take my back leg, swing it forward so that it becomes my front leg. Then raising my arms up in the air, I am going to reach, reach out in front of me. When I say out in front of me, I really mean I wanna be tr trying to grab something that is just out of reach. I don't want to be, again, I want to avoid this sort of hollowing position, which actually makes my spine and my back kind of crunch in on each other. So I'm unable, I'm preventing myself from getting down towards my leg. I want to reach out, up, and over. And that's what's going to allow me to get down further and further and further like so. Then when we're done, we'll switch and do the same thing again, but with the other leg. Then what I like to do is, depending, you can either A, work on trying to get your legs into this butterfly position like so. If your knees are up on the ground, from the ground like this, that's absolutely fine, but you're always trying to get them just a little bit lower, but without adding any sort of force or pressure. Once you're able to get them down on the ground, start challenging yourself to see how much closer you could get your ankles in towards your center. Or we can stick our legs out to the side like so. Then what I want to do is walk my hands forward, hinging first at the hips like so, keeping my chest proud and tall, and walk my hands forward as low as I can go. Again, not hollowing, reaching forward as low as you can go. just like so. And remember, if you're here, that is fantastic. <laughs> <sighs> then what I like to do afterwards is end my stretch with child's pose. I like doing this weird thing where I just flip myself around like so, but I understand that most human beings cannot do that whatsoever. So once you've come out of that stretch, get onto your knees, place your hands forward, Push your hips and your butt back so that you're trying to push them into the top of your ankles. <sighs> so you let your arms go forward. Hmm, just like so. And again, holding each stretch for a minimum of 30 seconds. <sighs> and that, my friends, is one of the general stretch routines that I love to do after my Fit Like Fiore class. And these are just awesome to do anytime. Um, I'll often do these after a long bike ride or anytime I'm just feeling kind of stiff or not at my best. So enjoy folks and please remember to stretch, stretch often and always stretch after your workouts.